also downstairs we have the Kaiser Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Center. And here we have Christine Beaker, the Executive Director of the Kaiser Chamber. I'll turn it over to her. Yes, thanks Al. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our Kaiser Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. Here we greet people, uh, whether they're residents of Kaiser looking for some information about parks. We have several different uh, pamphlets, information about what uh, Kaiser's about as well as what the region is about. We also are a Kaiser Chamber of Commerce and that's a business association and so with that uh, we try to better the community in all kinds of aspects whether it's workforce development, uh, let's see what else, we have a membership services program that uh, deals with networking so when a business is starting up we like to kind of bring them together and get, get them to know other different businesses. Another great component too is the promoting of Kaiser. So as you can see also on the wall, we, our biggest promoter of Kaiser is the Iris Festival and uh, that's a, an annual celebration that we facilitate and uh, really kind of like to show it off with beautiful artwork each year that's selected. We also have different events like the Kaiser Art Walk that we promote. We like to make sure that we can tell people about uh, where to go in Kaiser if they're coming to Kaiser as a visitor. Along with our services here, it takes some uh, professional staff and I'd like to introduce Paula Mosley. She uh, works with our membership relations and data control and uh, accounting and whatnot. And then also a real special gal, Roberta Schmickel. She has been with us now over 11 years 11 as a volunteer. Years. So uh, we have uh, opportunities to volunteer at the chamber and the visitor center. So it's just real nice to have those smiling faces greeting people. Now we're at the Kaiser Heritage Museum, also downstairs in the building. Uh, this is an all-volunteer run museum. Uh, each month there's a different exhibit uh, that's shown in the museum in addition to all the permanent exhibits. As you see here along this side and in the middle, there's a variety of giraffe related items. This is the exhibit from the collection of the two people this month. Uh, some are made of St. Helens ash, there's some visors, ties, variety of things. We've had uh, exhibits of marbles, Betty Boop, uh, giant seashells, just a variety of thing over the 10 years that we've been in the building here. Okay, this exhibit here, for example, is from Emma Ekret, who is a lady that died in 1921, born in 1880. Um, hairbrushes, glasses, and gloves and a hat, a variety of things you find in the museum from the 1850s uh, on through current history. Um, there's an old TV down below here. Um, and to me, there's an old typewriter, but I'm used to seeing typewriters, but young people nowadays may not have even seen the type of typewriters like this old royal here. The variety of other items donated by people from the Kaiser area. We try to keep it all related to Kaiser or to the old school, which this building, as I mentioned before, was the old school. And one of our newest showcase items is an old Victorian house, dollhouse, that a lady made um, with miniature items that are just great. Over here, the player piano even that was came over in wagon trains in the 1880s. People play it from time to time. We have old sheet music. Uh, somebody even donated a variety of old music rolls and so forth to go in this player piano. It's really, really fun to see all the things from the times past. And one of the main things over here in the corner where a couple of our volunteers are sitting uh, we have Jim Young and Harry Pease, two of our volunteers. But this area up here, we sign up there, says it's a research area. Uh, we have a lot of albums of photos from classes in the old school from the 1920s on forward, and a lot of items that are found in the school when we were uh, restoring it throughout the years.
Kaiser Heritage Foundation was formed in 1988 for the sole purpose of restoring the old school. Uh, it was originally behind the Ross Shopping Center until 1996 with work being done on it, but in 1996 it moved down to this location. Then finally in 1999, the Kaiser Heritage had a final fundraiser. The city of Kaiser had agreed to donate 250000 out of its urban renewal funds if we could raise that same amount of money in 90 days. So in that 90 days, we raised $276,000 from the people of the Kaiser community. And of course, we wanted to recognize all those people that helped donate and save the school. So on this wall behind me, you see a mural that was done by one of the local artists. Here we recognize people that donated $300 or more. And they got their name on the blackboard or carved on the back of the desk, on the spine of the books, on the leaves of the open books and so forth. You also find throughout the building there's a variety of recognition plaques and signs, ones above the doors of the various offices. One of the interesting things is out of all the funds, only 45,000 came from foundations. The other 237,000 was from citizens of Kaiser, from kids doing the pennies for Save the School to the realtors, the rotary businesses, and the citizens of Kaiser. So without them, this building would not have been able to be restored. So we thank everybody in Kaiser for that. One of the hidden features of the building and the surrounding grounds is the beautiful sunken patio and gazebo behind the building. A lot of people in Kaiser don't even know it's there with its landscape and so forth around it. Um, also around the patio, there are a bunch of name bricks. These were bricks that were sold to raise funds also for the restoration of the building from 1990 to about 2000. I forget how many bricks there are, seven, eight hundred bricks out here, but it's just amazing to see those on the back of the benches. And we put them there rather than on the ground because if they were on the ground, they would get worn out over time. This way the people are recognized again for their uh, donation to the restoration of the building.